Hey, if you fancy knocking up this bowl of one pot delicious flavour bombness, then keep watching. Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to Cornwall. I'm all snug and cosy in Myrtle because it's a little bit chilly out there today. Um, I'm going to knock up this beautiful one pot dish for you. It is intensely flavoured. It's really, really tasty. We cannot get enough of it at the moment. This is Myrtle, my camper van, and it's together in this tiny little kitchen that we bring you guys awesome one pot camping recipes. If that sounds good to you, then please hit that subscribe, ding that bell, and we'll catch up with you every week with our latest video. Right, shall we? Shall we? Shall we cook? Okay, so a little bit of oil going in and then we're going to chuck in a small white onion that I've chopped up nice and finely and just let that fry down for a few minutes just to get nice and soft. So we've got quite a lot of ingredients here today. Normally, like you only see three, four, five things over here, but there's quite a lot going on. Let me quickly run you through it all. We've got the onion and the oil. We've got one red pepper that I've diced up small and we've got a really sad looking lime, which is why I'm not showing you the skin. Actually, I'm going to, because look, it's all just looking a little bit sad. So I thought if I put it that way up, you'd never know. Fajita spices, you've seen this, me use this in a hundred different recipes here on YouTube. I love this spice mix. I'll pop a link to the blender that I use down below. You can, of course, buy the individual sachets from the supermarket of fajita spice. Waste of money, just make your own. If you've got half decent spices at home, like you've probably got all this stuff anyway. It's really easy and really delicious. And as a rule of thumb, when I use this in a recipe, I generally do one level teaspoon per person, whatever I'm making, if it's fajitas or quesadilla or whatever, just like it's really, really useful blend to have on hand. I've also got two really big fat garlic cloves that I've chopped up finely in there. I've got one of those little vegetable stock pots, which is kind of liquidy as opposed to a cube, which is kind of grainy. I've got some tomato puree, some chili flakes, just in case we need a little bit more punch. Um, I have some sour cream here for the end. I've got a pouch of uh, ready cooked basmati rice. And um, here I've kind of made a faux guacamole Mexico. This isn't an actual guacamole, I know. It's just what I had on hand and I kind of thought that these flavours would go really well with these flavours. So in here I've got one avocado that's been diced up, a small red onion, a bunch of coriander, not an actual bunch but like a bunch of chuckings worth of coriander and some of that lime juice as well. And I've just mixed that all together. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm Cornish, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm going to wallop in my beef mince. Obviously, if you're veggie, you could use that corn mince or TVP. Do they still make TVP, textured vegetable protein? No idea. I'm sure you could use something like that. If you're using something dried like TVP, then obviously you're going to need to put more moisture in this dish. So camera above is all steamed up, as always. Can't see a thing, but I'm putting in the beef rice. Beef rice? Oh my God. Whatever. Now, rather than making this like a wet dish, like a chilli, like it's kind of thick and saucy, I'm not after that today. I actually want quite a dry dish. So I'm not going to be adding like a tin of tomatoes or a load of water from the kettle or anything. Obviously, you can if you would prefer a wetter dish. But I'm actually going for quite a dry beef and rice mix with lots of flavour. It's just kind of what's in my head for this idea but obviously as always please adapt this to suit your family and your taste buds. Now I'm going to pop in my garlic cloves. Obviously if you're not a fan of garlic you can leave this out. Okay now let's bang some more flavour in. We're going to add in some tomato puree just like about that much. We're gonna add in some of that fajita spice. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Uh, you can't really see it. Take my word for it. It looks delicious. Uh, we're gonna add in that little stock pot. There she glows. Wallop that in just for some big punchy flavor. And let that break down with that yummy beef and onion and spices. Okay, 
Oh my gosh, that is smelling so good. Oh, I'm glad steam cam's gone so you can actually see what's going on. Now I'm also going to add in a little bit of chilli flakes. You don't need to do this. There is chilli in the fajita spice, but you may have noticed my bound blah. But you may have noticed by now that I kind of like chilli. So I'm adding some because this is my dinner. Okay, now we're going to add in our rice. And as always, if you're using these pouches in a one pot meal, they're really useful. It's just those microwave pouches, but they do need a good old massage first because they often come out as a brick of solid rice otherwise. And that's not great. So try and break it all up first and then wallop that into your pan. And we're ever so nearly done. This is another speedy one, isn't it? We're on 10 minutes so far on that camera, but I have been gas bagging for after that, to be fair. Okay, now at this point you can add a bit of liquid if you want to, if you feel that it's sticking or looking a bit too dry. I've got some water in my kettle over there just in case I need it. If you've got a bottle of red wine on the go, I would say definitely add some of that if you don't mind sharing with the pan. I'm gonna have a little taste. Banging, oh, it's so good. You know what I've forgotten to add? It's my red pepper. Let's get that in for a couple of minutes. That should have gone in like two minutes ago, so forgive me. All right, I reckon, Pete, that we are pretty much done. Quick little taste. Make sure your seasoning's right. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Now, when it comes to serving, all I'm going to do is dollop some of my faux guacamole uh, into the top on the top just like that just for a little bit of colour and pizzazz and I'm also because this is going to be really hot I'm also going to dollop my sour cream on top like that so it will just slowly start to ooze and melt into that Mexican beef and rice and there we go and there we go what do you think of that doesn't that look like a treat I'm looking forward to diving into that so beauties, there's another super simple one pot masterpiece for your camping meal rotation. I hope you love this one. I hope you give it a go. Don't forget, please tag me on social media at Hedgecoma whenever you make any of my recipes off on an adventure or even like midweek bored kids hungry, you know, that kind of scenario. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please whack that thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed it. It really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. So thank you. And I I need to stop talking now because I want to eat that. Big love as always. I'll catch up with you next week and until then, mwah, happy camping.